Hi all, welcome to Design Engineers Telugu. In our previous video, from constraint toolbar, we have discussed about coincidence constraint, contact constraint, offset constraint, and angle constraint. Finally, fixed component. Okay, these five tools we have discussed in our previous video. In this video, I will explain about fix together, quick constraint, change constraint, reuse pattern. Okay, so these four tools I will explain in this video and this flexible rigid subassembly I will make a separate video. Okay, so in this video we will discuss about only these four tools. Okay, so see here tools are not getting highlighted because here we don't have any component in our assembly so we need to bring component here so for this what we have to do we need to right click on product component existing component and here i have some parts i'm just opening as like a previous videos okay so here i have base and now i want to import another component so in the same way what we can do we can go for product component existing component here i am taking cylinder okay so if you want to bring more component you can bring it's up to you okay so i'm taking box here okay so now i want to move these parts like this yeah now here we have three different parts okay so here first tool is fix together okay so first of all let us know where we will use this fix together option okay generally in some assemblies uh, we need a bunch of components as a single part suppose for example if you take a, a bolt nut washer Okay, so these three parts should be in the same location. Okay, every time. Okay, whenever you if you if you move your bolt, okay, automatically the washer and nut should move. Okay, so because those are relevant parts like that. Whenever you have some relevant parts, suppose for example, if you take a, a two sockets or connecting rod, whatever, if those are relevant parts, okay then when you move one part if you want to move counter part automatically uh, we need to use this fix together okay now i will explain how to use this fix together option okay so how to use this tool basically okay just select this fix together tool first and then here you need to select uh, components what are the components you want to make a uh, a fix together okay so whenever you move this base automatically this box and cylinder will move whenever you move this box automatically this base and cylinder will move okay so like this you can click on okay you need to select all these parts okay whatever the parts you have selected you can see those names here and then click on okay okay yeah now if you go to constraints and see here here we have tool whatever you have created right constraint that you can able to see here like this if you have used any other constraint that also will appear here okay so for your understanding i have expanded this constraint okay so now i want to move this base okay so here i can go for a move and then in the first tool manipulation i'm selecting x and i'm selecting base and if you move base directly what will happen let us see first okay suppose if i am moving base like this simply if you move like this what will happen only base is moving other parts are not moving okay because here if you see here in manipulation tool only we have one more option here okay see with respect to constraints okay we need to click on this okay it should be active if you make it active and then if you try to move the base see what is happening all other parts what all are made fixed together with this part or with this base will also move suppose if you move 
this box we can move suppose for example now when you move uh, one part all three parts are getting more right so now in this case what i want to do is i want to remove this cylinder okay i want to move only these two parts or i want to make fix together for these two parts only so what we need to do in that case okay so just cancel this and just double click on this fix together see here you can able to see what are the parts you have here okay just you have constraint okay so here just uh, click on cylinder see just if you select the cylinder it is automatically getting disappear okay so it is automatically getting removed from here okay so just click on okay now now go for more manipulation and uh, just uh, make sure that uh, you have turn on this with respect to constraint okay so now if you move see only two parts are getting move okay so it is about fixed together what is fixed together whenever you have this uh, relevant parts or a bunch of parts or group of parts if you want to make if you want to move together okay whenever you move one part if you want to move other parts also you can go for fix together option okay yeah now i am just doing control z for all parts yeah now i will use another tool called quick constraint means suppose for example here we have cylinder and here we have the hole okay so if you want to uh, constrain this cylinder with the hole what you will do you will go for coincidence constraint and then you will select the cylinder and hole in the same way instead of selecting this one we can use quick constraint also okay so if you select a quick constraint and then if you place your cursor here okay see it is acting like as our coincidence constraint right i am selecting this two axis so see automatically we got a coincidence constraint here okay but i didn't use this one right so i have used this quick constraint okay so by using quick constraint only i have created this constraint okay in the same way i want to move this part to here what we can do we can go for contact constraint and we can select both the faces then it will move from here to here okay so instead of this if i use this quick constraint same operation okay so same operation will happen here also see like this so instead of using multiple tools to fix the components we can use quick constraint also okay so see here we have user coincidence constraint we have user content constraint and by using this quick constraint we can use this too and uh, if you want to give some offset suppose for example uh, instead of using this offset i am using this only quick constraint from here to here uh, i have given some constraint okay so basically it has to be it, it should have some height okay some height from this base okay that we can't give here directly by using quick constraint so in that case what we can do okay so not only in this case if you have given any constraint and later if you decided that uh, you should change that constraint or suppose for example if you see this example only from here to here i have given contact constraint okay so later you have decided like uh, you have to give some offset value some distance from this base okay so in that case you don't need to go and delete this constraint okay instead of deleting this constraint we can change this constraint to offset constraint okay this surface constraint to offset constraint okay we can convert like that let us see how we can change that here we have tool called as change constraint so if you click on this one it will ask to select any one constraint okay you can select from this tree directly okay just select this constraint and then here if you see uh, there is a small window here okay so now it is asking us to 
change to particular constant okay so whatever we have we have surface constant here okay that surface constant we can convert to offset constant we can convert to angle constant in the same way parallelism perpendicularity coincidence okay whatever okay so suppose in this case i want to use offset right i want to give some distance so i will select this offset okay if you want to give angle you can select this one if you want to use a coincidence you can select this one so now i want to give offset just select offset here and then click on okay okay so this surface constraint automatically converted into offset constraint now you can edit this offset constraint okay you know right how to edit constraint just double click on your constraint okay now how much value we have here we have zero i will make it as 30 30 and click on ok and uh, see here it is asking for update okay so if you see any symbol like this that means it is asking for an update okay so you need to update here see what happened see that surface constraint converted into offset constraint okay whenever you want to change constraint you can change like this okay so it's about a change constraint and now here i have reuse pattern okay so reuse pattern means uh, suppose for example uh, here i'm deleting this box so now let us see how to use this reuse pattern so if you observe this name name itself knowing us like uh, what is reuse pattern okay already if you have pattern if you can reuse that that is called as reuse pattern means so suppose for example when you create this box when you're creating this box that time only if you have created any pattern on this box so that pattern we can reuse here okay so suppose for example what i will do here is i will just uh, make this as a displayed part you can go here and open a new window and uh, here uh, the cylinder diameters. 13 i guess or, uh, let us check what is the diameter of this it has 15 radius and uh, the hole also having 15 radius okay so now what i will do is uh, for this base i will make some changes what i will do is i will just uh, change the sketches or sketch dimensions instead of 200 i will make it as 2000 instead of 100 i will make it as 1000 And here I will use only one circle okay so I will delete all this remaining items from here so here I have circle right what I will do is I am giving some constraints for this So here we have one pocket. So what I can do? I can go for pattern, right? So here we have rectangular pattern. Okay, we can use circular pattern or rectangle pattern. It's up to you. Okay, so here uh, in current object, I'm selecting this object. In difference, I'm selecting this. Or you can give this. Okay, and now second direction, I'm giving different plane okay so like this you can create number of components as per our requirement i'm making it as 50 and uh, this direction So 
so like this I have created one pattern okay so here like this if you have one product and uh, if you have to constant or if you have to insert cylinder like this everywhere that will be very difficult right so every time if you have to uh, make a number of copies and if you have to give constraints that will be very difficult so in this case what we can do is we can simply go for reuse pattern before that you should constrain your component also okay so before using this reuse pattern you should constrain your component okay whatever you have to insert everywhere so what i will do is i will go for coincidence constraint and then i will select this axis and any one of this whole axis and then automatically it will go and sit here right and then if you want to give some distance or offset you can give okay so suppose for example here it has 69 i will make it as 90 okay it's up to you just update it yeah like this we have one component okay so now i want to get the same component everywhere okay so what we have to do is we need to go for reuse pattern and then you will get a window like this and then you need to select your pattern existing pattern whatever you have created in in your base or in your path level okay so just select this pattern and then here you need to select your component okay so this is my component i have selected this cylinder you can select here or you can select here also it's up to you okay and then just click on ok so uh, depend upon number of components if you take more components uh, here uh, it will take more time if you take less components it won't take much time okay so if you see here see everywhere everywhere we got the same component okay so like this you can use reuse pattern so that you can able to save your time okay and if you want to hide these planes whatever you can see here right so if you want to hide these planes you can hide okay just select the plane and click on hide okay so like this you can hide all the planes so that you can able to see your component only okay so like this you can hide your planes okay so it's about reuse pattern okay so thank you all thank you for watching have a nice day bye